I've recently been learning about the zero point perspective and that has really changed how I view a lot of things based off the fact that you know how we operate is predominantly through thoughts and basically what the zero point perspective means is that you know having the ability to go down to zero meaning starting from the beginning everything has a beginning point and I'm here in Costa Rica I decided to take a month-long sabbatical I haven't done this since 2019 and 2019 I went to Peru and was in Peru in the Sacred Valley for a little over a month um, with the same goals and intentions in mind which is to just kind of separate from I don't want to say just America because it's not really you know the case but just to separate from even some of the things that I habitually do when I'm back at home and I'm not in an environment that makes it easy for me to cut certain habits and certain things so I'm in Costa Rica in a small town called Ujaras which is also again in the Central Valley my intentions were to go to a beach or I thought I wanted to go to a beach and be near water but I ended up you know booking this lovely Airbnb called Casa y Campo and I've been in Costa Rica for not even a week yet I also have been going to the dentist here which I had no idea was a thing and so after I had booked everything and wanted to come here anyway so that's a, an additional plus but I wanted to talk about just how do we give ourselves space and time to reprogram ourselves and to let go of things that are no longer serving us and I know there's all these words like healing trauma and all this stuff and I'm glad that we are at a point in society or for the most part where these terms can be easily used compared to maybe you know a few years back but I've been on my um, inside journey for a very long time I feel like well definitely since about 2012 2011 around that time and every time I come back to myself whether I'm conscious about it or not everything is just always revealing itself to me and I feel like I'm called right now to really just get as clear as possible. When I mean clear, I mean where my ego isn't driving everything that I do or everything that I'm deciding to do. Um, where also where my thoughts aren't as invasive to the point where I'm confused about the decisions that I need to make or about the direction that I'm heading in my life. and. You know, at the zero point perspective, like meaning like right now, at this second, at this point in time, everything is as it's supposed to be. And regardless, if I can say that consciously, I'm aware that there are so many factors that, you know, come into play to get to that point. And so I never talk on camera. I always like, oh, I'm not talking on camera, but I have so much experience and so much introspection that sometimes I do feel like I'm not sharing enough because the things that I've seen, the things that I choose to do with my life can definitely benefit it. Maybe all of humanity, who knows? But I wanted to just briefly talk about making space. And every time I tell someone this is every single time and I don't care what the person does as a profession what they look like how old they are and nothing of the sorts every time I tell someone hey I'm about to go travel I'm about to go on this adventure every single person says oh I wish I could and in my mind I'm trying to understand well why can't you regardless of whatever's going on in your life the problem I don't like using the word problem but the wall the block is not setting the intention to do the thing like 
Like this requires planning. To take a month off or even a few weeks, sometimes even a week for some people requires planning. To be intentional, like, you know what, I'm about to go somewhere because I need to reprogram myself. I need to get clear. I need to get back on my path. And the only way to do that sometimes, unfortunately, is completely removing yourself out of a familiar space. And so one of the reasons I travel the way I do is because I'm being removed from familiar spaces and it requires me to open, it requires me to open different parts of myself that sometimes are dormant that I didn't even know I had access to, um, or even along the lines of just wanting to be free, wanting to be in, in an environment that doesn't feel so constricting. As soon as I got off the plane um, from coming from Pennsylvania, I immediately felt like a weight was lifted off my shoulder. I don't know if that is me doing it myself on my lentils. If that is, I'm going to stop saying I don't know and take charge and responsibility for my gifts and what I have the ability to feel and see. I know why I felt what I felt as soon as I got into Costa Rica because I wasn't in America anymore. And the the feeling of like the weight being lifted off, off of me as soon as I got here was like remarkable because I'm like, wow, this is that simple feeling. That's all I wanted. I didn't want this grand, like, oh my goodness, to show that I'm here. And it wasn't that. It was literally just to feel like it's okay to be human. It's okay to function in a space where I'm not constantly feeling like I need to prove myself or do anything for anybody. And that's been the theme for me, I want to say, been coming into my consciousness recently is the theme of like, Knowing I'm already everything that I'm supposed to be, I don't mean physically, I don't mean in my occupation, understanding that what I do is not my identity and how I live in a place and an environment where what I do is looked upon as the greatest facet of who I am. And no, I don't, I don't appreciate that. I don't treat other people like that. So I don't care what you do. How do you feel? How are you treating you know, the environment, what are you contributing to that component of the existence? And I love going to places where the occupation or what you do is so simple that it doesn't need to become your full identity. And in America, unfortunately, you know, we're not given that gratitude. And, you know, I lived in L.A. for seven years and I loved it. I, I learned so much. I enjoyed my time. I've got to work with some incredible people. I've got to, you know, just have some really cool experiences. But then I can say all that and then say, hey, I'm in this small cabin in Costa Rica. And this is probably 10 times better than that. And because there it's all about having to prove who you are and i have so many amazing amazingly talented friends who are lost up here because their entire existence is based off what they do externally and how people perceive them and so on the outside your art you know your job your occupation is what really makes you who you are and so I don't want to live like that. I don't want me being a photographer or filmmaker or writer to take over the fact that I am an amazingly, incredibly, you know, beautiful human being that has the ability to alter environments, alter spheres, you know, and that goes way beyond the fact that I know how to pick up a camera. And venturing off and journeying off into places like this where I can be, where I can have one-on-one -on -one time with nature, where it isn't um, disturbed so often. And I really do miss living in California. You know, I do have a desire to move back, but right now my mission requires me to be home in Pennsylvania where I get to really spend time with family and they're influencing me just as, a, just as much as I'm 
influencing them but the the purpose of this video is to talk about the zero point perspective and to try to put yourself in spaces where you can reprogram yourself if that's what's necessary you know like my to be super frank my programming right now is along the lines of like you know not touching my phone so much i'm still working on that because i'm here by myself the only thing that i am doing besides reading and and you know being outside is i am touching my phone but i did you know deactivate my social media accounts that was always the goal i always do that when i go and do one of these deactivate my social accounts um refrain from you know sugars like artificial sugars stuff like that refrain from meat i do have a piece of fish here i'm just eating it today because i don't want to waste it but just refraining from the things that have so much control over my body i'm also reading the book the body keeps the score and that's the only book i brought with me which is crazy because i usually you know desire different types of books but you know hey that's what you know that's what i'm reading right now and really understanding the body does keep the score you know and i just wanted to share that it doesn't require so much it actually requires letting go more than it requires accumulating things so um i'm gonna make this short i'm gonna cut this soon but i just wanted to share that at the zero point perspective getting super clear it is possible to change and it is possible to really look at ourselves as these like really incredible beings no matter what and um and yeah i hope this reaches someone and helps you get clear on the fact that maybe there are things a part of our everyday a part of your everyday life that needs some adjusting some fine tuning and this could be literally anything like you want to work out more you want to stop watching tv you want to change your diet you want to whatever it is it doesn't matter it could be anything but sometimes the environment doesn't allow us to accomplish those things and understand i'm studying a lot on environmental psychology and how basically the environment is a huge component in how we function and in how we become who we become and i'm trying to figure out how to incorporate it into my photography and i'm taking my time with that again not making it my identity you know so many people are like i can't wait for you to come back and show me what you made me <laughs> i made more of me and that's what matters and i do need to share more because i am a unique individual and i have a very unique perspective and and it's not about just unique perspectives it's about physically like doing it you know we can talk all day and and you know have dialogue back and forth about how things are supposed to be or how how we want things to be but if you don't f put the action behind the physical then you know what i'm saying like it don't even matter so if you do want to change any component of yourself you know what i mean try your hardest to number one see if it's the environment after that see what you can do to alter the environment and if it's not possible to alter your immediate environment maybe you need to physically remove yourself and go into an environment that would allow you the space to be able to to do such a thing so i'm gonna leave that there um yeah